One of the applications you can buy for Infinium oscilloscopes is EasyJIT Plus. EasyJIT Plus breaks down jitter into random and deterministic components. EasyJIT Plus provides two different methods to do this. The first method is spectral only. The second method is spectral and telfit. However, the analysis does not end there. One of the questions that arises quite frequently is which one should I use? The new user interface and EasyJIT Plus have solved this problem. If we were to look at the graphs that can be provided through EasyJIT Plus, one of the graphs is the jitter telfit bathtub curve. What this does is it compares the real data against the telfit and against the spectral data. In this case, the spectral and the telfit data match very closely with the real data, the true random bounded uncorrelated jitter data. For this instance of measurements, either the telfit or the spectral method would do an excellent job. Now let's look at another waveform. We've now included a waveform that includes a lot of crosstalk, which exhibits itself as bounded uncorrelated jitter. If we go back to the jitter telfit bathtub curve comparison, what we see now is that the telfit matches very closely with what is the random bounded uncorrelated jitter data where you'll notice the spectral data no longer follows very closely to the actual data. Looking at the data, we notice that there's almost 10 picoseconds of bounded uncorrelated jitter. If the jitter algorithm doesn't get this right, this becomes random jitter, which is multiplied by 14 and means that we way over-report total jitter. However, with the Telfit method, we notice that the total jitter is, is shown as 66.46 picoseconds. Let's see what the spectral method shows. I simply am changing to where we see the spectral method as opposed to the spectral and Telfit method. The spectral method cannot tell what is bounded uncorrelated jitter. Remember that the Telfit method showed about 66 picoseconds of total jitter? Well, notice the spectral method now shows 138 picoseconds of total jitter as it way over-reports the random jitter. EasyJIT Plus includes two algorithms to break down jitter, Telfit and Spectral. In the case of bounded uncorrelated jitter, typically the Telfit method will do the better job of determining what is random and what is deterministic jitter. However, if you're not sure, you can always use the jitter versus Telfit analysis chart. This chart allows you to quickly see which one is the correct answer.